Hello, my friends. I want to talk to you about why symptoms get worse in recovery sometimes. In order for this to make sense, remember two truths. That your brain believes that stress chemistry protects you. And it also believes that being in a trauma loop protects you. That's important to remember. So this kind of is similar to that principle we talked about, about pain the other day. So part of the purpose of stress chemistry, what one thing that adrenaline does is it masks your symptoms. It makes them feel less intense for a couple of reasons. Because the brain already, it, it's believing that that stress chemistry keeps you safe. So if you already have a lot of adrenaline, a lot of can in your system, your brain's like, okay, well, we're safe because we've already got that can going. And... The other thing is, again, your brain is operating as if you are actually in a life-threatening situation. So the other thing that happens is, again, if that were true, if that was actually happening, masking your bodily sensations would be really helpful. If you're in an actual battle, you need to not really feel if you get wounded or whatever, you need to be able to finish whatever's going on and complete it in order to survive. That's the primary goal here is survival. So that, that stress chemistry will mask all of your physical sensations for a period while it's present. Once it's gone, that's when you start to feel what's actually going on in your body presently, or you start to feel the effects of having been in stress chemistry, probably for years or decades, and what that, you know, what's what's the result of that. You'll feel the symptoms, you'll feel worse a lot of times in a lot of ways, once you've actually successfully rewired to a point where you've generated a lot of relaxation chemistry and your body is calmer, your brain is calmer. So that's something to keep in mind as you continue to downregulate and, and move more fully into relaxation chemistry, you're going to start to feel better. But there's a transition period when you've actually done the work properly, where you do feel worse for a little while. And the, the second part of this is that your brain, again, because it believes that that stress chemistry and that being in a trauma loop keep you safe. Another aspect of this is often it, the, the pops of the, the pattern, the brain pattern of trying to bring all of your attention to the sensations of your symptoms or to any pattern that's really negative, a specific fear you might have, whatever your particular negative thought loop patterns are, your, your, your kind of um, most well ingrained and <laughs> effective, the, the things that really get your goat, the, the pops, the, the thoughts that really bother you or get to you, those are going to get louder oftentimes when things get calmer because your brain is trying to get you back in a trauma loop and in stress chemistry because it's trying to protect you and that's what it believes safety is. So again, brain's not the bad guy, it's just trying to help us achieve safety in a situation that's not happening because we're not in danger. Um, but I want to explain that because this understanding that that stress chemistry masks symptoms and when you are doing this correctly and you go into relaxation chemistry, your symptoms often feel a lot more intense for a period of time and it's, it's a temporary transition. Understanding that is another way that you define your reality, that you create a higher understanding of what's happening from an understanding of the brain and what's going on so that you can make sense of your experience without falling into one of those patterns and staying stuck in your dream. So much love, my friends.